In the world of mining, safety is paramount. Surface and underground mines are busy, hazardous environments where the risk of collisions, accidents, and potential loss of life is a daily reality. EpiRock, always aware of these risks, in response designed the Titan product range. The Titan product range is a collision avoidance system with vehicle-to-vehicle, vehicle-to-pedestrian, and vehicle-to-hazard functionality. Building on the proven success of previous generations, this system not only reduce risks and save lives, but also represent our commitment to high quality and reliability. Understanding that one sensing technology doesn't fit all scenarios, machines, or mining environments, the Titan system integrates a variety of in-house developed sensing technologies. Our sensing technologies include ultra-wideband time of flight, magnetic field sensing, and artificial intelligence cameras with object detection. A high-performance CAN FD bus is used as the communication protocol of the system, ensuring reliable high-speed communication that is future-proof. The system is flexible and can be tailored by adding the required sensors on the CAN FD bus to suit different applications and vehicle sizes, ensuring a fit-for-purpose solution. In addition to normal operational risks, unauthorized vehicle access and overspeeding significantly increase risk. Due to limited visibility, operating heavy machinery can cause accidents, resulting in injuries, fatalities, and equipment damage. When there is a disregard for safety protocols, it further escalates these risks. In response to such incidents, the Earth Moving Equipment Safety Roundtable has documented industry-leading practice on effective controls. Whilst a customer should implement effective level 1 to 6 operational controls to reduce exposure to unwanted vehicle interactions, Epiroc's Titan system assists the mine with the implementation of level 7 to 9 controls, where there is a drift in the performance of the underlying controls. Level 7 and 8 systems being awareness and advisory systems, level 9 is an intervention control that will automatically slow and stop a vehicle if the operator did not respond to level 7 and 8 warnings of an imminent collision. South Africa's Department of Mineral Resources introduced vehicle intervention legislation in 2015 to reduce mine accidents. The slowdown and stop clauses were suspended, but due to poor safety performance, they were reinstated in 2022, making compliance mandatory for all mines. The Commander HMI-100 Human-Machine Interface The Commander HMI-100, the operator interface, performs various functions such as receiving information from the gateway, displaying information of potential collision threats, providing voice instructions to operators, managing licenses, logging interactions and events, and generating exclusion fields. The Commander Gateway 100 Mounted inside the cabin, the gateway, the brain of the system, runs all the collision avoidance algorithms as it processes information from the sensors and interfaces to the vehicle and feeds the HMI with information to display to the operator. It acts as a bridge between the commander and the sensors. It also logs the same data as the HMI, ensuring redundancy. Mounted on top of the machine, the Pulse 760 is an integrated sensor it combines a sub-gigahertz radio transceiver used for vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle and vehicle-to-pedestrian communication with ultra-wideband time of flight and GPS sensing technology when the vehicle operates on surface. This sensor is equipped with an internal battery to ensure that the vehicle can be detected by other vehicles even if switched off. The Pulse 560 is an intelligence low-frequency generator that emits a magnetic field that is detected by pedestrian tanks. The magnetic field penetrates most objects and does not require line of sight. The sensor is also equipped with a sub-gigahertz transceiver, used as a communication channel between the vehicle and the pedestrian tag. Magnetic field detection allows for very accurate and repeatable pedestrian detection of pedestrians in close proximity of the vehicle and is most effectively used to implement motion inhibit. The Pulse 660 is a low-frequency generator that emits a low-frequency field using a cable. The field follows the shape of the cable, which allows fields to be created that adopts the shape of the vehicle. The Oculus 100 Cutting-Edge Artificial Intelligence Camera 
specifically designed to detect objects like pedestrians and vehicles not fitted with a collision avoidance system. Multiple cameras can be added to the system to suit the size of a vehicle. The Pulse 130 is a pedestrian wearable tag that attaches to a person's cap lamp. The tag is equipped with magnetic field sensing technology. The tag communicates with the commander system using a sub gigahertz RF transceiver, making the operator aware of the presence of a pedestrian. The tag provides audible and visual warnings when in close proximity of equipped vehicles. Dynamic zoning plays a crucial role in balancing safety and productivity. This is achieved by adjusting the detection zone sizes according to vehicle speed. When the vehicle is stationary, the smallest zone size, called the prohibit zone, is active. The Commander HMI-100 efficiently manages and controls mining equipment access. During system startup, it prompts for license keycard and fingerprint. With license management capabilities, it controls equipment access, integrates with operator time and attendance cards, offers traceability and fingerprint verification. Prior to operation, the system performs a pre-use check on the vehicle, verifying functionality of the system and subsystems, including operator exclusion. These checks are crucial to ensure vehicle readiness and proper functioning of all safety features. Vehicle test stations can be deployed at strategic locations to collect data from vehicles and report the status of the system to a central server. Access can be controlled by these test stations to ensure only fully operational systems are allowed in controlled areas. As the LHD approaches a crosscut, the system's advanced vehicle detection safety features engage. This mechanism automatically prompts the LHD's operator to slow down and stop, ensuring no collision and the safe crossing of the ADT. Battery-powered sensors enable vehicles to still send and receive RF signals to ensure that vehicles can be detected even when switched off, adding an extra layer of safety. This innovative feature helps prevent collisions between moving vehicles and those that are not in use. An LHD equipped with the Titan systems detects a pedestrian with a Pulse 130 tag, prompting the machine to slow down and ensure a safe crossing. This remarkable technology adds an extra layer of safety, protecting everyone in the mining environment. Zone beacons can be set to activate systems features on mining machines when entering specific areas with designated rules and precautions. As the LHD enters the designated workshop zone, its speed is automatically reduced as a result of the zone beacons. The fail to save feature ensures mining safety by applying motion inhibit to ensure a vehicle cannot be used in the case of equipment failure and prompting technical support to be contacted in case of a broken or damaged sensor, addressing potential issues proactively. Operational data is securely logged and stored on the system's solid state memory, enabling efficient monitoring and analysis. Technicians can easily access this valuable information wirelessly using mobile devices or PCs, streamlining performance assessment, trend identification, and maintaining safety and efficiency. Epiroc's command suite provides comprehensive management of machine operational data. The flexible reporting system can be used to improve traffic management by identifying high-risk areas where there are higher than normal interactions. It can also be used for tracking, infringement reports, and utilization with user-friendly and customizable dashboards. Explore Epiroc's groundbreaking advancements in mine safety, enabling companies to enhance safety, productivity, and profitability.